Nick Staley back with another video. Today's video will be looking at pros and cons of Manjaro Linux. This is the KDE edition, so it features the KDE desktop environment. I'm going to run this in a live virtual box. I'm not going to install it because it just it gets the point done anyway. We're going to start with the pros. I'm going to do three pros and three cons of each. So that's how it's going to be for all of my pros and cons of each distro in the future. Alright, pro number one. It is nice looking. It's it features KDE, so it's pretty highly customizable. You can move you could pretty much do whatever you want with it. You could add would just add a whole different panel. Um yeah, it's pretty easy. I don't know what I just did. But you could have everything pretty much wherever you want. That was an icons only task manager. I accidentally dragged it out. But you get the point. You can move this to the side. Kind of like in a Windows, you just do screen edge and you just drag it. It's pretty self explanatory. But that's if you're more of like a Windows. And then I keep mine on the side and I add a dock down here. Because I run this distro. That's my daily. So that goes right there. Desktop like the desktop background plenty to choose from you could also find them on the internet of course you could do a uh, pretty much anything slideshow picture of the day I don't know what that is I've never really done it a static image you could add an image here and then just like browse downloads and those should be self-explanatory but what I did on my install of Manjaro is I put the the dock over here. When I added this um menu, this taskbar right here, whatever you want to call it, and I added a dock down here. I added plank, just to give it more of a quote unquote Mac kind of feel to it. Pro number two, it is easy to use for the most part. Manjaro Linux, you can do a lot of day to day tasks on it. It probably wouldn't be as easy to use as a distribution like Ubuntu or something Debian based, but being what it is, Manjaro Linux, it is it is fairly easy to use. Pro number three, it is built on Arch. This might cause a little bit of conflicts on the comment sections, but being built on Arch, I would say it's easy to use because you got the Arch wiki. And then you could find some good software in the AUR. I'm not saying every every uh, software there is reputable, if that's the word for it. But the AUR Arch user repository, it's there's some nice stuff there. If it's not in the Arch, if it's not in Arch's main repositories, I don't know what you would call it. It would be in the AUR most likely. That goes the pros. There are, it is, I love this distribution for what it is. Like I said, I daily run this distribution on most of my computers. So there are the pros. Now, given the pros, there are some cons. Con number one, it is built on Arch. That's, uh, it's not the most stable thing. If you update your system, it, there's, it could break really easily. It's happened to me before. I've installed a, a kernel on it from an update. Then the thing quit booting, so I had to delete the kernel and just use the other, the older one until they came out with the one that actually would let me boot into the system. So being built on Arch, it can go either way, pros and cons. But I'm just saying it's not the most stable thing in the world compared to Debian for say. Con number two, the Arch Wicked can be misleading. This is true. The um I've tried to do some stuff that I didn't know how and I try to use the wiki and sometimes it doesn't work or it worked on earlier ones but like 
after an update, that way it doesn't work anymore. So, there we go. Some applications need to be manually compiled. This is true on a lot of different things. Like, um, if it's not in the, um, if it's not in the AUR or the Arch Wiki, alright, here's a, here's another thing I'm going to bring up right down near the Octopi, I'll get, I'll get to that, but if it's not in the Arch Wiki, I mean, not Arch Wiki, the Arch Repositories or the AUR, you will have to manually compile it, but for a new user, that's going to be a little little scary for them I'm sorry not seeing a whole lot on the screen I'll, I'll get to that but yeah some applications will need to be manually compiled all right given pro number two was easy to use here's where I'm gonna get to the thing they have this nice tool called octopi I think you call it octopi but it is a update manager it's pretty much a graphical interface for Pac-Man. This is built on Arch, so Pac-Man is your is your um package manager. So you can in fact install software to this is a I would say it's a graphical version of Pac-Man. So they have a lot of different things. You could search here. See, like, you can download the Cinnamon screensaver, some Cody stuff, deep in screenshot. Let's say I want the Cinnamon screensaver, so I could click install, and then like that. Sometimes it doesn't work as well, and then you click this little check bot, the check mark there, and then you could have it run in the terminal. And it pretty much uses Pac-Man. So that goes right there. Yep. I will not be continuing with the installation. But that that you could also update it through your system upgrade, yeah. Pac-Man dash SYU. Speaking of that, um console is your terminal and To update it through the terminal, just Pac-Man SYU, like just like that. So that's it. Plenty of different tools installed, going from the ease of use. You got LibreOffice. You got a whole bunch of nice stuff. You got you got Steam pre-installed for crying out loud. That's fantastic. This is my favorite Linux distribution, given it's not the most stable. What I don't like is when you, on my, my install, when you search something that comes up with every single file inside of a folder, it's just kind of annoying. That's just a personal preference. System settings is really, really laid out nice. I love it. Nice looking and easy to use. Since it's KDE, well, at least this one, I'm telling this for the entire uh, fleet of Manjaro um, flavors. Cinnamon, um, XFC, yeah, I think is on there. I3, that's a community build. But desktop effects. There's a lot of cool looking things you can do in here. My favorite's Wobbly Windows. Um. I may have to install it. Yeah, I don't know where where it is. It's I'll probably have to install the uh, the system to get a lot of these to really work. But wobbly Windows like this is really laggy because I I don't know why. But when you move Windows like that, it will basically like jiggle them around. It's it sounds weird, but it's actually really cool. But that is it for this video. Pros are very nice looking, easy to use, and it is built on Arch. And cons are it is 
built on Arch, so it's not as stable. Some would say Wiki can be misleading, and then some applications need to be manually compiled. It's not a problem for people that are experienced with Linux, but to the new user, it is not the most ideal. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a distribution you want me to take a look at, leave it down in the comments. I am planning on making a series on gaming on Linux, so stay in tune for that. I will try to live stream or make just regular videos like this one on games that are compatible with Linux or games that will work on Linux with Wine. So stay in tune. I'll try to get that working and figured out as soon as possible. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video.